Hey everyone, it's Zeke, and in this video I'm going to talk about mining profitability after Ethereum 2.0. So will it even be worth it to mine after ETH 2.0? Are we going to have to shut off our mining rigs? And is it even going to be profitable to mine after Ethereum 2.0? These are all questions that are being answered in this video, so let's get right into it. So first things first, what is Ethereum 2.0? I'm sure we've all heard about it because it's talked about pretty much everywhere you go, like everyone in the mining community talks about it, and it's pretty much all over YouTube. So yeah, basically it's the Ethereum network's transition into a proof of stake model because right now it's in a proof of work model, and there's some issues with this that the founder Vitalik Buterin does not like about it. So basically proof of stake happens when the beacon chain which was launched in 2020 is merged with the main net. Um, right now the proof of work model basically has miners join the network and compete against each other to find blocks of transactions to verify and be warded in crypto because each block spits out around two ethereum and each block happens around every 12 seconds or so and it's pretty hard to actually find a block of transactions when you're mining so people join a mining pool and basically being in a mining pool with other miners increases the chance of finding a block. So if you're in a mining pool, the reward around 2 Ethereum is divided up to the miners based on how much they contributed to finding that block. Now, people sometimes mine solo, but it's not really worth it because you have to be incredibly lucky or have uh, really good settings to be able to find blocks. But yeah, here's where the problem comes. There's so many miners on the Ethereum network and the Ethereum network's hash rate is far more than any other coin right now. Ethereum Classic is like the second biggest one. But even that, it's 40 times less than what Ethereum is based on hash rate. So yeah, it's pretty substantial. And since there's so many miners on the network, it's pretty bad for the environment because a large amount of energy being used for this mining is non-renewable energy sources. Now, there obviously is a lot of big mining facilities that use green energy, and there are miners that use uh, renewable resources for their electricity, but you don't have to have renewable energy in order to mine Ethereum. So like anyone can mine it as long as you have electricity and a GPU. So yeah, Vitalik wants to switch over to proof of stake because it will drop the energy usage by 99%. If you're wondering why, this is because miners won't be competing against each other to find blocks of transactions to verify. Um, instead, with the proof of stake model, it has validators and in order to become a validator, you have to stake 32 Ethereum. And then once you are validated, you're randomly chosen to validate transactions. So basically, instead of competing against each other in a proof of work model, the network just automatically chooses you to mine transactions. So it's more efficient and it'll be a lot less energy demanding and there'll be a lot less miners on the network. So it's better for the environment, more sustainable. So what's gonna happen to profitability when Ethereum mining goes away? Well, there's many things that are possible and everything I've seen does not look good for miners, unfortunately. Because once the beacon chain merges with the Ethereum mainnet, a difficulty bomb is going to be set off and that makes it impossible to receive mining rewards. So you can still have your miner running, but there's literally no point in doing this because you will just be wasting electricity. And the only way you'll actually be able to continue mining Ethereum is if you, you know, stake your 32 Ethereum, which most of us probably don't have. And you can also join like a staking pool. So like you stake less of it and you can make money in that way. But it's a lot more complicated than um, just normally mining Ethereum like you can now because there's like penalties if your miner gets shut off or something it's just, yeah it's a lot more complicated so it'd be hard for most of us to actually do that but yeah so for many years mining ethereum has been like a very consistent way of making money and it's been like whole businesses for people and sources of income but you know mining profitability has dropped 50 percent since november 2021 uh you know the price of ethereum has dropped difficulty continues to go up and this has caused like a big drop in gpu prices and it's made people's break even time much longer like for me it probably doubled so like everyone who got into mining at the right time like one or two years ago is fine because they've already paid off most of their hardware probably um, but anyone who's gotten to mining like recently and is still waiting to pay off their rig and doesn't look like they will be able to before Ethereum 2.0, like if you're not done um, paying off your rig by like the middle of this year or like a little bit after that, then it's pretty risky because, you know, profitability might not be there for you to use to pay off your rig after Ethereum 2.0. So like right now, there are obviously other coins that you can mine and make some money off of like Ethereum Classic, Zero, Ergo, Flux, Ravencoin, Firo, and so many more. But the big problem is that the price and market cap of these coins is nowhere near as massive as Ethereum's. So mining them won't really give you much value right now. Also, the profitability of these coins is not going to be the same once proof of stake comes out because these coins are gonna have massive difficulty spikes when the ethereum hash rate joins them now there might not be any profitability and these other coins are a lot more volatile than ethereum so the profitability will be bouncing around a lot also it is a lot harder to sell these coins on the major exchanges like coinbase and crypto.com for example like the ton coin thing that's out right now that you can mine with ethereum to make a little bit more money it's a lot harder to sell this coin you know for cash so it just shows that like a random altcoin could come out of nowhere and be more profitable or be profitable to mine but it might be hard to sell it for actual cash and it's probably riskier to hold the coin because you know the, the price of it could uh, drop or go down a lot so it really needs to happen to make mining profitable after Ethereum 2.0 is to have a coins value sky
skyrocket and it has to be listed on all the major exchanges and has to be able to remain profitable once all the miners from the Ethereum network join it. Because as of now, if that happens, there's not going to be any profitability. I think that there will be a lot of miners switching over to Nice Hash because it automatically switches to the most profitable coin. I'm not sure if you guys have seen this before, but a lot of people have, and it's actually pretty cool. I'll probably be using it um, when, when the time comes. But yeah, so just to finish off the video, there are two main outcomes that can happen. Either GPU mining dies off and it's not profitable or a new coin takes Ethereum's place and miners just carry on. So let's start with the first scenario, which is GPU mining dying off. So like I said earlier, none of these other coins are gonna be able to support Ethereum's hash rate. So the only way for them to become profitable would be to have their price go to the moon, <laughs> which is unlikely. So if no other coins are profitable, then GPU mining won't be worth it and people will have to sell their cards and shut their farms off because it's not gonna be worth it to mine. Now the second outcome is, you know, a new coin is profitable, takes Ethereum's place and miners carry on. It might not be as profitable, Profitable, but as long as there's some profit to be made, people are going to continue mining. Now, it's pretty difficult to have this situation. It'll probably take a long time to happen after ETH 2.0. So, yeah, but you never know because, like, the crypto market is really volatile. Um, big things can happen overnight um, or, like, all of a sudden. So, yeah, like, the market's pretty much based on people, like, what people are thinking. Like, it's very skeptical, um, speculative, and, like, it's based on emotions rather than just, like, normal investing. I think that, like, maybe the crypto mining community has enough market influence to make the price of a coin go up. But yeah, I think what will happen is that the like a coin will have a good development and people want them to invest into it. And if that happens, then people will start mining it and make some money off of it. Because like even if a coin goes up in value for reasons unrelated to mining, if it's the most profitable coin to mine, people are gonna mine it. Heck, even nice hash will do it automatically for you. <laughs> Hopefully this is the situation we can have, but it might not happen for a while after proof of stake happens. And Ethereum mining has been very stable for years because it's one of the most stable coins aside from Bitcoin. It's large enough to support the amount of hash rate and it's also a cold algorithm meaning that it's low power consumption and there's so much more profit to be made on this coin. So when this goes away it's going to be pretty rough for miners. So yeah, hopefully you guys found this video interesting. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment down below what you think about Ethereum 2.0 and I'll see you in the next one.